Hi, this is Deborah at Dinglefoot Scrapbooking, and this week I have a very simple Thanksgiving card. And this is one that you can make several of quickly, so if you want to use these for place cards, you could just scale it down a little bit, or use it this size also, and have really nice place cards to put around your Thanksgiving table. So I have a dark brown card, and then I have two pieces of pattern paper. One is dark, and then I have a lighter one put on top and these are just slightly smaller than each other just so I have that nice color around the edge of this and then they will go on the card front just like this so we have our nice full colors and then I have a little tag that I made and I just stamped a little greeting on and if you're using these for place cards you could just write names on them or something like that have some dark brown ribbon and I tied a little dark brown bow. And then I have two leaf die cuts and these are two and a half inches so if you have a punch or um, if you can get someone to make you some leaf die cuts those will work. And I made these just in white because I'm going to be covering these with color. I have some different glimmer mists. This is a dark red one. <clears throat> and then I have a gold and then I have another type of spray, it's kind of like Glimmer Mist, and this is orange. So if you can just get different colors that would match for your fall designs, whatever papers that you have, that'll work. So we're going to get started making this card. First of all, I'll just set everything aside so I don't get any of the inks on these other pieces. And then I'm just going to begin by spraying some colors on my leaves. And this doesn't have to be done in any way particular. You could even have your kids help you with these. They'd probably get a kick out of this. I'm just going to spritz a little bit here and there. This is red. And I like to do the gold last. And the reason I like the gold last is that I like that nice shimmer over the top of everything. So I'm going to do my gold. And I'm going to be pretty generous with it. I just want them to be nicely covered so they really have a nice shine when they're finished. So saturate these pretty well. And then you can either leave them here to dry or you can take a heat tool or something and dry them off that way. I'm going to take a break here and just grab my heat tool and just dry them off quickly. My leaves are dried off now and you can use these as is. As you can see they look really nice the way they are. But if you want to make them look a little more leaf like, you can take them and just ink the edges. So either way, if you want to fancy them up a little bit, that is fine. If not, you can just use them the way they are. But I'm going to use a little bit of dark ink on my edges. Just to give them a little more of a fall look. And then, I'm going to take them and just crinkle them up. Okay, so just wrinkle them up. I'm not ruining these for good. I'm just trying to get them to look a little more realistic. So I'm going to wrinkle them up. And this, sometimes if you have them a little bit damp yet, that's a good thing. These are pretty dry, so I'm going to crinkle them up and then kind of straighten them out. Then you can take a mouse pad and a stylus and draw some veins in them. So I'm just going to just run one right down from the tip down. So just take it down each of the three tips. And then if you want to put any other little veins in them, just kind of draw some down. So it's up to you. And then kind of straighten it out again. If you want to do this, fine. If you want to just leave them plain, that works too. But I kind of like them roughed up just a little bit because it kind of gives your card a little more of an interesting look. So I'm going to undo this one. I'm just going to draw my veins in, same as I did before. 
take the tip of your stylus and just draw it straight down from the top down to the middle. I'll just put a couple more in just to, for good measure here. Okay. Unwrinkle it again. And this is ready to use. So I'm going to take my paper pieces here and just glue them together. Just put these two on top of each other. And then before I add this to the front of the card, I'm going to put my brown ribbon across. And you can use score tape or whatever you have. Just don't use a wet glue because that really makes ribbon wrinkle up and it does not look so good when you wet it down. So I'm just going to put these on the back. And then this whole thing's going to go right on the front of my card. And then for my leaves, I'm just going to use some zots. And that'll just help them so they stay sticking up off my card a little bit. So if you want to make more than two leaves for your card, that works. Whatever, whatever you think will look good for your project. Grab another zot here. I'm just going to place mine kind of like that on my card. And then I have my little tag that I had made before. And I'm just going to kind of slip that under the stems of the leaves. I'm going to put a zot on that also. Just slip that right under there. And then I have my little bow left. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. Just put a little bit on the back there and stick that on my tag. And this card is finished. Thanks so much for watching.